This devotion is for Friday, March the 18th. It is entitled, A Gift of Reassurance. The Bible passage is from Luke, the 22nd chapter, beginning at verse 7. Then came the day of unleavened bread, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. So Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go, and prepare the Passover meal for us, that we may eat it. They asked him, Where do you want us to make preparations for it? Listen, he said to them, When you have entered the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him into the house he enters, and say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks you, Where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs already furnished. Make preparations for us there. So they went and found everything as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When the hour came, he took his place at the table and the apostles with him. He said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. It is enjoyable to receive a gift. Packages that came from home when one is away at college or in the military always bring a welcoming and uplifting event. Gifts received on special days, such as Christmas, birthdays, or anniversaries, also have tremendous joy. Each time we are reminded by someone who loves us that we are special, it is a gift. Dietrich Bonhoeffer was a Lutheran pastor in World War II Germany. He was arrested for his part in a failed attempt on the life of Adolf Hitler. He was executed as the war was coming to the end by the Nazis. Sometime after the war, friends gathered documents, papers, letters that Bonhoeffer had received in prison It became letters and papers from prison, an important volume to understand the spiritual journey, which was Dietrich Bonhoeffer's during World War II and his imprisonment. Upon one receipt of a gift, a package, he wrote, It is Monday, and I was just sitting down to a dinner of turnips and potatoes when a parcel you sent me by Ruth arrived. Such things give me greater joy than I can say, although I am utterly convinced that nothing can break the bonds between us. I seem to need some outward token or sign to reassure me. In this way, material things become the vehicles of spiritual realities. I suppose it's rather like the felt need that we have in the place of our sacraments. Pastor Bonhoeffer knew that his parents loved him. 
yet he still needed the reassurance that a gift could provide. He recognized that the Lord's Supper served a similar purpose in providing all of us with that spiritual reassurance. Yes, Jesus recognized our needs as well. So on the eve of his death, in his greatest love for us, he made provision for our needs, provisions that would sustain us until we too would be gathered together in the gift of the Father. That's the way of love. Through something as simple as bread and wine, we receive grace and strength for our faith and life. Through simple water, we are cleansed and renewed as children of God. Praise God for this precious gift of reassurance. And now, on the eve of Holy Week, we especially are attentive to that gift, which is ours in Christ Jesus, crucified and risen. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for those gifts of reassurance that come to us, that come to us weekly in the place of the sacraments, come to us daily in the gift of your word, all reminders that in the waters of baptism we are yours. Help us, Lord. Help us now in these days ahead to continue this journey and to remember again and again that indeed we are called by you to return to the Lord our God, who is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. Amen.